To Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's good to have you all here. This is Let's Play number six, I believe, and we are very tired. So we just got shot in the leg with an arrow, and we ate a bunch of food, and now it is time to sleep. And luckily, I think we've been given the chance to uh, sleep in a in a bed. This guy's got the same hat on as my dad does. So I think this is where we go. Oh, I'm in a private area. Okay, so I won't invade that area. Now the question is, oh, I was told to take my boots off before I got in bed. Oh, I'm so tired. All right. Tired. Your eloquence will gradually decrease. Interesting. Sleep and set how long you'll sleep for. Okay, I am going to take my boots off. Uh, might as well get into sleep here. All right, that looks tough. We're going to be realistic with it, guys. Let me know if uh, if you like that or not. Okay. I'm sorry about what happened to you, but it's no excuse for rudeness. Sorry. All right. Well, let's sleep for a good eight hours. Getting up at around four in the morning. Oh, unless I get woken up early, for some reason. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood. Yes, sir. Oh, he can't sleep. He's thinking too much about it. Yes? I mean, his parents just died. It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. Who? I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? The lady of the house. My lady. Uh, um. No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's uh, just what you need. Medicine to help, to help him go to sleep. sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You must feel You're super nervous. You're not to worry nervous. about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Let's see, would Henry talk about it, guys? Would Henry push his feelings deep inside? Uh, shoot. Talking about it might help. You might be right, my lady. Yeah. I'll tell you what happened. Here we go. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. And then... Oh, shoot, it's timed. Uh... This is this is what I we went to the care to about. Ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while, and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our uh, meeting was never to happen. Wonder if she's alive. 
When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzi. And then... Father and I always chatted. This is what ma matters. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. Well, some weird so voice uh, acting changed. It was like a different person. Oh. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I think I'm picking the good choices. Uh, there was a huge horde of attackers. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. That's pretty poetic. Awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. What? No, this is what matters the most. Father told me to take. I didn't know Bianca died. Get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded oh, by dude. Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after dude. another. Dude. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I don't remember. I ran exactly to the castle like, like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. <laughs> they told you about the path. Uh, I need... I, I needed a horse. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. I did. How did and you know that? Scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. Yeah, but you didn't fight them off. I succeeded, even though you just whistled, man. Life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. <laughs> I'll never forget. Oh, me. man. Well, you made for the rest of my life. You made that sound a lot better than it was, man. Sounds way more it's heroic. Terrible. How could something like that happen? God yeah, alone bad knows people. why he let such things happen. You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by all right guys for those of you who aren't christian just remember this medieval ages whatever life uh, brings. everyone in the in europe was basically christian not been merciful to me 1403 and my husband either middle of uh germany in area comparison to the horrors you went through i was young when i married my husband it was my father's wish divish was a lot older than i but a woman you were married to Lord Divish? Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavets, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Is Divish the old Seven guy? Years. Or is that Robard? 
That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom, and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven, Seven years. years. Oh, jinx. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Dibish seems like a good, strong man. Oh, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He Burgrave had no time is. for me at all. But at least we were in the city. Um, there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Now go down that path, man. I would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go. And let you sleep. So Burgrave is a, uh, it's a German title I enjoyed for someone who, talk, uh, Henry. runs a town. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. All right, Henry, you gotta be careful, man. Don't step on any toes. Oh, there's a sword in here. Oh, that must be, uh, Lord Divish's sword. And all these names are coming into my head. It'll be hard to remember them all. Especially with my clothing clipping through my skin. Hope you guys are enjoying this. This is uh, turning out to be kind of a relaxed let's play. Oh, nightmares. I'm not playing, am I? Henry, help us! Oh. Help us, son. Don't be coming. That's awful. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> what is it? Man, everyone's What's waking happening? me. I'm not getting any sleep. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Is my character not tired? I learned women in the Middle Ages. All right, it's time for some clothing. Do. All right. Oh wait. Um. Okay. Take the torch from the table. Got it. Boom. Use your torch by holding one. Boom. Oh nope. What? I, I pressed one. Do, do I really have to... Spurs? You can put on spurs? Oh my gosh. Alright. Go to the battlements. Is all well, that doesn't go anywhere? Okay. Head into the battlements. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. It's like a trench they built for water. Is this the battlements? Yeah. All they have to do is lean on some stolid surf and they'll happily tell them everything. I, I didn't think of that. Not that I'm spoiling for a fight, but if I have to choose a place for them, 
than right here behind the solid walls of it. True enough. Yep, I agree with that. And if he's really got such a big army, he might not even hold out against the first offensive. Tomberg's a strong castle, though. It can handle a siege. The best thing would be to join forces with Scarlet and wipe Sigismund's bastards off the face of the earth. That's probably why they attacked so quick, so we wouldn't have time to join forces. Ah, you might be right. For sure Sigismund ain't no fool. A backstabbing swine, maybe. But no fool. You're right there. All right, guys, I like listening to that dialogue. I hope you don't mind. Um, where the heck do I need to go? Oh, here's, uh, is this Lord Divish? Uh, Sir Divish. All right, I'm not supposed to talk to you, apparently. Uh, Robard. Got it. Well, what is going, going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on yeah. in the You night? have to get up Especially and come here. He's lost the oh, what's going on? I don't know. On Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scarlet's to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies say? Not much of anything. Before they could get close Why enough, this huge storm started. Are they and talking right. to you and acting Sigismund like has a you're hell of important? Of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. God be with you. Did you hear that? God be with you. Oh, these look like oh, uh, survivors from uh, Silver Scallets. Who else, Robert? Sir Ansig. What a relief. How'd you guys is get out? Is this ship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Ranzik, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me uh -huh. and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. I've got your sword. But tell me, friend. How on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? Yep. I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? Yes. I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to mm. Skalitz. No, you Are you don't. mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! Dang. I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. 
Hovel well, of Baldick. We'll meet again. When like Hovel the Knight from Dark Souls. Favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Man, 20 minutes is only enough for, like, two cutscenes. Guys, we haven't... We haven't done much today. We've... Basically just woken up, talked to people in cutscenes. So the question is... Would you guys be willing to watch longer, uh, playthroughs? Med, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Is sort a 30 minute the playthrough okay? And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people, now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled, and report everything to me at once. Understood? All right. Well, guys, uh, it's the end of today's playthrough. I need to have a word with you. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, let me know if you want me to change anything. Let me know if, uh, if this type of playthrough is what you want. If you want just relaxed, chilled commentary. Um, yeah, put it in the comments. Well, as always, have a fantastic day. We'll see you in part seven.